hey 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 trackies what's good it's been a while since i've been on camera but yeah what's up tomorrow is the london diamond league oh before i jump into that please remember to hit the like trackies why do i have to be fighting y'all to hit the like button come on hit that like button and of course if you've yet to subscribe i really don't know what you're waiting on over here is banging <laughs> haven't you heard <laughs> Uh, now, with that said, London is tomorrow, and of course, Sharika Jackson, as well as, you know, Shakira Richardson, Mari Jose Talu, you know, line up over that 100 meters, plus there are other events that will be on show um, tomorrow, plus most importantly for m most, if not all of the athletes, this will be their last competition leading into the World Championships. So, you know, going into, you know, London, my first thought is, Lord, please, let's let the athletes come out, you know, healthy that's my first thought but you don't know it's competition so let's check the matchups and then i'll let you all know you know how i think you know it will play out now with that said i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to share my screen so that we can take a look at you know um the events let's see what's on schedule tomorrow i think the only thing i probably know off the top of my head is the 200 meters no sorry the 100 meters all right so uh, why not make things fun and just start with the, the 100 meters, right? Um, let's see. So let's jump straight in to the women's 100 meter lineup. So we have Dina Asher Smith, we have Aaliyah Hobbs, we have Sherika Jackson, we have Daryl Nita, we have Sher um, Sher Shakiri Richardson, we have Antonique Strong, we have Mari Jose Talu, and we have Tanisha Twery. No, I find this very interesting, track if you know why. Apparently, Talu is done with the dodging and hiding. <laughs> you know, after that 10.65, you know, by um, Sh um Sharika in Kingston, um, Talu was like, ah, no, nah, I'm not going to let you race me yet. I'm going to wait until the World Championships. But who would have thought that, you know, Shakiri would have come out and beat her in, you know, in the next race after? So, you know, I'm assuming that Talu is looking and saying, hmm, you're not as formidable as I thought. You know, maybe I can line up with you before, you know, the world championship. So let's see. So here we have, you know, Talu in this race. Um, another big matchup against, you know, um Sharika and um Shakiri. And of course, you know, we still have um Antonique Strong, we still have Dina Asher Smith, um, and as well Daryl Nita, Aaliyah Hobbs also, and Tonisha Twery. Okay. So yeah, this is a very, very big matchup. Um, my thought process going into this for all of the athletes, especially the top guns, save maybe Mar save maybe Mari Jose Talu, is that they're tired, right? Um, Sherika Jackson is training, you know, throughout this entire Europe tour that she's on. So even herself, she herself, you know, she was shocked by her run. And I even talked about it myself when I saw that look, she was like, damn, you know, how could I go so fast, you know, considering everything that I've been through um, as it relates to training? So with that said, um, you know, the same thing for Shakira as well. She's been jumping all over Europe as well. Not as many races as, as, as Sharika, but still, you know, doing quite a few races. We've seen Dina um, step out and she's getting back stronger. Um, track is honestly, I won't lie. Um, if this was, you know, everybody on fresh legs, then I may have a different perspective, but it's not everybody on fresh legs. Everybody's doing something completely different in preparation, you know, for the world championships. So honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards, this may shock you. I'm kind of leaning towards Marie Jose Talu taking this win. Yes, she definitely has fresher legs than everybody else, um, in this race, and my assumption is that under these, you know, fresher legs, you know, considering that she's run 10.75. And as I said before, 10.75 isn't that far from 10.71, even though y'all attacked me in the comment section. It's not much different, you know. And considering, again, that, you know, Shakiri is, um, I'm assuming that, you know, she's feeling the after effects from all of the travel. You know, we saw her lose against, um, what's her name from St. Lucia, Julian Alfred. So, you know... I, even though I don't think she was in that race, you know, 100, you know, her brain wasn't really in the race, in my opinion. Still, she lost, you know, to the, um Julian Alfred. So with that said, again, I do believe that Mari Jose um, Talu takes the win in this race. Um, Possibly, Sherika Jackson. How do I see Sherika doing in this race? Honestly, I don't see her trying to execute a full 100 meters. No. 
it's the last race nah i'm not seeing it i'm just gonna see i'm seeing her you know run the race yeah but i'm not seeing her you know try to win this race per se so if shakira is in it to win Talu is in it to win and Sherika is possibly just going to be going through the phases. I have her third, right? That means I have Shakiri second, you know, considering that she's had a few days, you know, to rest, to get back. So let's see. So I have her second. I'm, I'm, I have Talu, you know, snatching that win. And of course, Sherika in third. Um, This has nothing to do with what I think is going to happen at the World Championships. Let's get that clear. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, who comes in after that? I like what I saw from Dina in that 200. She's running into shape nicely. So I have her, you know, higher ranked here. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her fourth. Yeah, I'm giving her fourth. Um, Antonique Strong, I've been expecting to see some good runs from her post, um, that 1092 haven't really seen it, but again, she's also part of MVP. So she's also going through, you know, that rigmarole of you know training plus running at the same time on the circuit so even though i'm expecting a faster run from her come the world championships hopefully her dipping into the 10 eights i'm not seeing it tomorrow so i have her placing behind dina asha smith and then honestly tanisha twery daryl nita alia hops can fall anywhere um in this race right but anyway track is that's my top um what is that that is my top how many athletes did i call i don't even remember but anyway that's my top picks so we have talu for the win we have Shakiri second, we have Sharika Jackson third, and then we have Dina fourth. I'm going to go with um, Antonique Sean fifth. So that's my top five athletes right there, trackies. You tell me now in the comment section, you know, what do you think, you know, will happen in this race? Do you think Talu comes out, you know, at the right time to snag everybody? Well rested legs as far as I'm concerned, much more rested than everybody else. You know, actually, this is kind of strategic because she is gonna have the last laugh in terms of possibly you know that mental aspect going in knowing that listen i took down shakiri and shakiri took down sharika you know what i mean so i'm going in possibly as a favorite to the world championships right so again <laughs> she's a little smart i'm not gonna lie she is a little smart you know in this aspect but knowing what we know knowing what we know sharika is capable of you know i'm absolutely fine you know if she places you know lower down in the field it has it has nothing to do with, in my opinion of what's going to happen in at the world championships in budapest as it relates to shakiri um, I think she's tired. She's going to, you know, go back home, you know, get back ready, um, get back in shape and is going to be coming to try to win a gold medal at the world championships. Think about the biggest, um, you know, comeback story you could ever hear. But again, the type of athlete that she is, I definitely feel like she's going in to try to win this race, regardless of the after effects that her body is feeling right now. So I have her definitely trying to challenge um, Talu for the win, but I don't have her winning Talu in this instance, because again, they're not on fresh legs. For everybody else, um, they're just running into shape nicely. So um, for the season, it's a great look. Again, my only major hope is the athletes actually come out healthy. Um, I don't want any injuries at all um by anyone because i'm looking to see talu turn up i'm looking to see dina turn up i'm looking to see sharika i'm looking to see shakiri all of the athletes that have qualified for the world championships i'm looking to see them turn up in their best shape so that you know when the race done and whoever win the race we're not here well it's because whoever brought their toe you know i don't really want to hear that i want everybody to be 100 percent. but for this race yeah that's how i see it so sound off in the comment section below let me know what you think like the video and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one